Hi guys, welcome to our um, online class with our substitute teacher today. Um, I'm assuming that if you're listening to this, you've already logged on to your Edmodo account and you are looking at the video. So, so I couldn't be with you guys today. <clears throat> this is what we're doing today. So you've already done number one. Um, you've logged into your Edmodo account and you are now watching Shafsky's Chapter 9 and 10 vocabulary video, and this is going to help you finish the content sentences for Chapter 9 and the first four columns of your Chapter 10 vocabulary chart. Leave that those content sentences, that last column, blank for now. I will be checking this work on Monday, full credit or zero credit, so make sure you get it all done. Okay. When you finish with the two vocabulary sheets, you're going to have your choice to work quietly on one of the following. You can either finish the advanced constitutional law exam if you want to get a few more points. The green and tan cards are going to be up on my desk. I'll also put them up on Edmodo. Okay, you can start on your homework assignment, which we reviewed uh, yesterday in class, um, and you can save your work on the cloud. I'll review how to do that in a minute. Or you can work on updating your notebook. Um, I'm going to be checking those next week. Um, you'll see that updated table of contents uh, in a couple of slides here, okay? Also, just um, for the bears, uh, at the beginning of uh, advisory today, I need the recycling team to do the recycling paper and cardboard today and then take it out to the dumpster where we do the recycling. Um, there are plastic bags over by the door. Also, Jose, Jesus, Ayana, and Ana, I need you to, um, at the beginning of advisory, take out the nets, the ladder, and the two and two volleyballs. That's all we'll need. And set up both of the nets for PE. And then every, anybody who's in my volleyball class during PE, um, <clears throat> when you get out there, um, you don't have to run the lap since I'm not there. But I want you to get into your teams of three uh, that you created for our tournament. We will not play the tournament while I'm not there, but you can practice by playing King of the Court during PE just to practice a little bit more together, and then we'll do the tournament uh, next week. Okay, moving on. So right now what you should be doing is I want you to work with your partner to complete the content sentences for the chapter nine vocabulary. And I'm gonna just go ahead a little bit here, and that's on page 33. Okay, so just go back to page 33, and here are the sentence stems that I've given you. You don't have to use those, but make sure that whatever sentence you write includes the vocabulary word, okay, and that it's about the content that we've been learning about in chapter 9, which is the structure, uh, the structural organization and what's in the Constitution. So you might want to pause right now and just leave this up on your screen and work with your partner on this part of the uh, Chapter 9 vocabulary right now. Okay, I'm going to assume that you have finished this now uh, with your partner and we're going to go to the next part which is now you should have the Chapter 10 vocabulary chart already glued into your notebook on page 41. We did that in class yesterday. If you didn't do that, glue it onto page 41, update your TOC. I want you to skip page 40 for now. We're going to do something on that page um, on Monday morning when I'm back with you guys. Okay. So you know how this works. Um, here are your four new vocabulary words. Say them with me. Wait till I point to you. <laughs> okay, guarantee, it's a noun, it's a thing. Assemble, it's a verb, it's an action. Petition, also a verb, it's an action. And lastly, protection, a noun. Okay, here are your definitions. Here are the example sentence uh, starters for you. What I want you to do in a minute is go to the next page. Well, I'm going to show you the next page. Look at images A, B, C, and D. Look at them carefully. Use your visual literacy skills. So take, go to each image individually. Look for key details, visual clues. Then put those clues together to try and figure out what's going on in that image. And then lastly, which of these words best matches that image. Use clues in the definition that you also see 
somewhere in the image. Okay? So, um, in a minute, I'm going to go to that next slide. And you'll probably want to um, pause the image, uh, pause um, the, our, uh, what is this? We pause our, our lecture here while you look at the images on the next slide, okay? Um, so here we go to the next slide. So this is image A right here. Image B is this one. Image C very cute right here and image D is right here notice we have a little label there to help you okay so why don't you pause now keep these images up in front of you and then work with your partner to complete one two three four columns on this chart here okay all right so pause it now Okay, I'm going to assume now that you have finished with the chapter 10 vocabulary chart and you're done with these images. All right. So now I need you to work quietly for the rest of the period on one of these assignments. Either if you want to get some more points on that advanced constitutional law exam, the green and tan cards are on my desk. You can go get those. Or you can start on your homework assignment um, make sure that you're saving your work on the cloud. And I'm going to remind you how you can do that in a second. And then your third option is to work on updating your notebook. Um, I'm going to start checking those next week. And here is the most up-to-date table of contents. So you can start with that. And then start looking at each page in your notebook. I would say starting with, you know, page 41. And work backwards and make sure that every page is complete. Every page has highlighted vocabulary words on it and that each page has at least one colored labeled visual. Okay. And if you're doing the homework, just a reminder, here are the different ways you can save your homework on the cloud while you've got your laptop in front of you. Um, you can save it onto your Edmodo account by simply attaching your work to a message that you send to yourself. In essence, you can do the same thing by attaching your work to uh, an email that you send to yourself. If you have a Gmail account, um, I should have in class yesterday showed you how you go to your Drive, your Google Drive, and just load it up onto your Google Drive. That's probably the best way to do it. And then if you've set up a Dropbox account already, then you could upload it to your Dropbox account. You probably cannot create one um, here in class. It, it's something that you would have already had to create at home. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to this page so you can pause it here if this is what you're working on. Otherwise, um, if you're not working on the notebook, if you're working on one of the other things, you can turn off the, the uh, video lecture now. And um, I really appreciate you guys working hard in class today and keeping our class going even though I'm not here. I'm at a conference learning about more cool technology stuff and I will see you guys on Monday um, and have a great weekend. Okay, bye.